Hello, Kim Pullian here. And well, today, this vlog, um, I just kind of thought maybe I'll talk about um, some movies. Yeah, movie time. Except um, just kind of like the little subject of this is that, um, okay, so I'm looking at Netflix right now and I'm like adding a shit ton of movies and shows and anime to my queue, my watch list. And I saw, I'm so far I've seen two movies where I can't, I get upset. I'm looking at one right now. I'm, I'm just really upset right now. There are movies that I said I'm never going to watch again. And I just thought maybe, like, I'll mention some of these movies and maybe see, like, what some other people, like, if they have some movies like that. So, like, one of the first ones is, um... The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. Oh my god, it's so sad. Because it's like about the Holocaust. And um, I remember I, first time I watched it, I was like, like, oh, all these little kids, like, you know, develop a beautiful friendship. And then I was really hoping for a happy ending. But honestly, it, no. It was way worse. It was so horrific. Like, I don't want to spoil it, but... Just watching it, it's like, it tugs at your heartstrings and it's like, oh, so precious. And then they just rip it out and it's like, oh God, why? It's, oh God, Ugh, I'm like so oily or am I just, oh, I'm disturbingly shiny. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> so, so the boy in the striped pajamas, you definitely have to at least watch it at least once. And it's like, you know, like if you really like World War II stories and like things about the Holocaust, like, like for me, I think those type of stories are really interesting. Just seeing people's take on them because I really do like the, the world, the World War Two, World War Two, and just you know seeing stories that take place during the Holocaust is like really interesting. And it's like you know, you, it was, most of them they end up really sad, and it's like, why did I put myself up to this? But yeah. Anyways, so the next movie that I'm looking at right now is uh, Hachi, A Dog's Tale, and it's about the story of Hachiko. It's a little different take on it. It's uh, It stars Richard Gere, and of course, if you know about the story of Hachiko, he's the dog who always waited for his owner to come home, and well, spoiler, his owner dies, and the dog, he just keeps waiting, I think like nine years. And, like, eventually the dog passes away, but it's, like, everybody should know that story. But just this take on it, oh, God, it really hurts. It's, like, I don't know. Whenever I think, oh, I'm starting to get upset. Oh, my God. This is really embarrassing. Okay, I gotta look away because it's on here right now, and it's really sad. Oh, mm, okay. Okay, it's, it's away. Oh, God, I get really upset. Like, probably I'm talking about these movies, too. And it's like, you know, they really hurt. They really hurt watching. But just watching it, it's like, it's so great. Because you get so immersed. And it's like, yes, it's so good. But at the same time, no, why? Why did I put myself to this? So, yeah. Hachi, a dog's tail. <laughs> okay. Next movie, I think, like, you know, it's also related to a dog. And I'm sure people have seen, like, this one is released in the U.S. and I'm sure it's more popular. It's called Marley and Me. And it's just a story about a couple... My TV's on. It's annoying. And it's basically a story about a couple. They, you know, they just talk about their life when they have this dog called Marley. And it's like they got him from a puppy and he's just so like hilarious. He's always been naughty and it's like, it's so great, but it's like, oh man, I'm starting to get upset again. Okay, so basically, oh God, I'm gonna really cry. Oh God, oh, okay. Mmm, it's really hard to focus. But basically, it's like, you know, it's very accurate when, uh, like, how it is to have a dog that always, you know, acts up and always is kind of crazy. But you just love them so much. And it's like, oh, you just wonder, how do you ever live without this strange creature in your life? And they just enlighten your life so much. I think that's one of the things, like, if a dog dies or, like, you know, children or anyone just innocent and just... You know, it's like, it really hurts, and that, and it's really sad when it's like, the main part of, the, like, that's the story. They focus on that character, and it's like, 
oh man and it's like you know spoiler alert for marley and me it's like you know they go through the entire like dog's life span and it's like all the way to like you know eventually the dog you know they don't live very long oh and it's like it's so sad though because i really know what it's like when you lose uh oh man <laughs> When you lose your friend like that, oh god, I'm sorry, I'm really crying, oh my god, it's just, it's really sad. Okay, okay, so, those are like the top three movies, like, you know, they're really sad, and it's just, you know, it's really gut-wrenching, and heartbreaking, and, I don't know, like, does anyone have any movies like that? Where, <laughs> I'm sorry, oh god, where, you know, like, there's just movies that are just, you know, they were so, um, I don't know, what's the word, you know, they trigger you. Like, for me, I say, like, I'm triggered, like, of course, obviously, I'm, like, I'm starting to cry right now. You know, it's like, it was just so, god, what's, what's the word, traumatic, there we go. I couldn't remember traumatic. And you're just like, no, never again. And then someone talks about it and you're like, oh God, why? Like me right now, like reminding myself of these, it's, oh my God, I really was crying. My nose is starting to act all weird. Uh, so yeah, maybe I'll take one more, like, you know, one more movie. It's another movie where I say I never want to watch it again, but it's not a sad movie, I swear. It's a movie that's, that was so awful, so bad. I'm just like, oh God, why does this exist? And it's a romantic comedy. I really love romantic comedies, but this one was awful. It was so agonizing and slow and it was just bad. It's, oh God. It's called, um, He's Just Not That Into You. I'm like, guess what movie? I'm not into you either. Ha! So, yeah, it's like one of those movies where, um, there's like 20 stars in it. And it's like, do you, I, like, I, that kind of scarred me from those type of movies. Because I don't, I don't like watching those. I forgot what the other one is. It was like for Valentine's Day or something. It had like 25 people in it. And I'm like, uh-uh. No, after that last movie, I ain't doing this again. I ain't gonna expose myself to that nonsense. <sighs> so, yeah. Oh my god, my eyes. I'm like, my body is like, you're, you stopped being upset. What's wrong with you? So, yeah. <laughs>